Uh, what's up, brothers and sisters in Christ? It is your boy Trail James, and um, just want to talk to y'all. Just be honest with y'all. Um, just want to tell y'all about some dark times in my life that I've been dealing with, in a way, still dealing with. You know, uh, it's it's easy to get up on here and preach and teach to y'all uh, to encourage you all uh, within the Lord. It's so easy to stand behind the camera and to pour into y'all lives. And that's something that I really enjoy doing. You know, God, he sees my heart in that. He sees that I love you all so much and and that I'm willing to to give y'all the word of God. You know, I'm willing to give y'all advice. But uh but even through all of that I still have a hole in my heart. You know, I'm still going through the most uh darkest things in my life and and um it's it's a tough mind battle uh to to be truthful with y'all um the marriage that i was in i'm no longer in i've gotten a divorce and i don't want to go all into details but i do want to say that it was my fault of why the divorce happened and you know, ever since I I grew up with uh, with my brothers and sisters in the home, I always felt like the odd one when it came to them. It was just something about me that stood out, not in a good way, but stood out differently from them. It's like whatever I. I did in my life or whatever I was innocent in, I suffered the most behind it. When it came to uh, 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 money-wise, um, they're all more advanced than I am. You know, uh, I've been struggling when it comes to my, uh, you know, financial situation, I've been struggling for a long time. And I always felt like because of me being the odd one in the family, I always felt like I couldn't really amount up to anything. Although I, I'm rich when it comes to the word of God, I have all of that in me like crazy. And I can quote scriptures back to back. But... The hole in my heart is where I feel like I'm not good enough. I can tell you all up and down all day uh, how good God is and, and how amazing his word is. But there was always a, a deep part of me that was hurting behind it. You know, um, I'm dealing with other sins in my life that I'm not proud of. Um, and sometimes it's just hard to come out with it because of people looking at me in a horrible way. I know that we shouldn't care what people think because we are all a working progress when it comes to Christ. But I always felt like this lonely sheep out of the whole bunch, out of the whole pack. I always felt like I'm the one that goes through the most. I always felt like I'm the one that gets lost all the time. And it's like when I do fall into sin, it seems like I'm the one that's, that's struggling the most behind it. I feel like I'm the one that's suffering the most behind it. Because when I look at them, and whenever the, they sin, it's like they they get rewards behind it. And that's something that I still don't understand to this day. 
they can do the craziest thing, but I see them get blessed right in front of my face. I, I'm not hating on any of my brothers or sisters. I, I love them all with with the love of Christ inside of me. But I always felt like the lonely sheep that couldn't amount up to wh what they are. And so that's why I, I've always been a runner. Whenever good things happen, it's like part of me didn't believe it because I was so used to to this dark cloud. I was just so used to losing all the time that winning felt like a lie. I was like losing to me became winning to where if I lost, I just knew that it was the right thing. It just felt like to me it was the right thing, even though it made a hole in my heart, even though I I'm suffering and my feelings and suffering behind uh, when thinking of the most craziest thoughts. Uh, truth, truth be told, when I'm suffering the most, it's like my mind goes into this, into this other type world where. I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, maybe I'm better off without my, my family. Maybe I'm better off without being a dad, without being a brother, without being anything in this world. You know, uh, truth is, I, I want to continue to push y'all and to bring the word of God to y'all and to let y'all know the things that God said. But truth is, I'm the one that needs, needs to be encouraged the most. Every day is, I have to put on this smile as if um, I'm the happiest guy in the world, but when I'm not, uh, I'm dealing with a whole, uh, you know, another woman now, and she's pregnant, and the baby is due in September, and so now I'm looking at the reality. I'm facing the reality of what is already happening and what may happen. I have uh, two boys from another woman who was my wife a couple years ago. Um, that was my first, uh, uh, you know, marriage that didn't work out. But the second wife that I had, we don't have any children. So that marriage ended. But this other woman now that I'm dealing with, she's pregnant. And so biologically, with this baby coming on on the way, I have three children, but I have a daughter that I say is my daughter, although I know she, she isn't biologically mine. And so um, it's hard because I haven't been uh, there to provide for, for them like I wanted to. Uh, life is it's just been kicking me up and down like crazy. Um, it's just been tough. <coughs> Sorry, but it's, it's, it's just been tough to where, um, I even thought about like, I pray to God earlier and I'm like, Lord, what's the point of living? I thought about, uh, what, uh, what it would be like if 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 I was in a casket and my family just looking at me in it, I, I thought about all of that. Even praying to God and asking him to f forgive me for the thoughts that I had because y'all, this life is not easy. Uh, 
is especially when you're basically standing on your own two feet and you're trying and you're trying and yet you're getting knocked back 10 steps it just felt like i'm not accomplishing much uh right now uh I have a DoorDash job, but I don't have a car. I haven't been able to work that job in a long time. And when you have a car, it's so easy to go out there and get a good job. It's so easy to, to make it to work. But when you don't have what you need, it's hard to get what you want. It's hard to get the things that you truly need. And so then that's when the struggling takes place. You're faced with the reality of how damaging it is. And um, I just remember just praying to God and just apologizing to God. I'm like, Lord, if, if, if I kill myself, I'm sorry. It's just that this life is just so hard to where like part of me don't see a way out and uh and i i ask god to forgive me it's just uh, these are my true feelings people tell me i should take a break off youtube and get my mind right but coming up here talking to y'all just talking to y'all about the word of god it, it it helps me you know in a way like it you know but when, but when i look around and i see somebody driving a car a nice car i'm like lord like it's not that i'm trying to envy them it's not that i'm trying to covet over what they have but i wish like i was driving a nice car why well, didn't have to walk everywhere why well, didn't have to worry about uh what time somebody gonna come and get me or wondering if i can make it to where i need to go i'm thinking i'm looking at everybody just in this life and uh, you know people got things that i wish that i had um cars homes money and for a lot of people they don't have to worry about money at all they don't have to worry about those things because they are set but i look at me and i'm like lord like uh, uh, this is my life that i have to deal with this is i'm facing the reality of dealing with that it's a possibility that i i I could end up on the streets, homeless and struggling to get a meal or having to sell my body just to provide for myself and my and, 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 and my children. Truth is, I have a deep testimony that I do need to share with y'all that I haven't shared with you all just yet. And in due time, I will share that. Right now, you know, I'm I'm just in a place to where I'm broken and to where I need healing. I need help. Um, I'm not trying to get up here and as it's not like I'm trying to start a go uh, for me page. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to make people feel sorry, uh, you know, for me. It's just. I want to come up here and just speak the truth because not everybody who who is serving God, not all of them is always happy. Now, don't get me wrong. Like God, he is peace and he, he brings happiness, but we're not going to just be happy all of our life and not come across some struggles. You know, there are a lot of people who just got it better than other people. But it's like I was the one, I guess, chosen to struggle. And um, it's hard seeing other people elevate around you and 
to be able to see that and to where you feel like you're in a, a deep hole where you're sinking and sinking and you calling out for help but nobody hears you. That's the way that I feel. It's uh this is the hardest thing I'm dealing with in my life right now and I don't know how else to uh, to feel about it I feel like honestly the easiest way for me to go is, is just to just grab a gun or something and just to let go but I don't want to plant that inside of y'all at least I want to give y'all hope that whenever you're going through something, continue to trust God even when it hurts. You know, um, no matter what I do, you know, I want y'all to continue to trust God, to continue to keep God first even when life doesn't make sense. You know, life doesn't always make sense to me, but... You know, I, I try. I just, I'm not here to tell y'all to do anything crazy. You know, don't do nothing crazy that'll cut your life short, and that'll and that'll make you want to go to jail or prison. Don't do anything like that. But I just want to come up here and be honest about my situation. And be honest about how I truly feel. You know, and the, the, the things I've been going through and still is going through. You know, I've just got to push above all else. Or, you know, you just got to keep pushing. For me, it's, it's hard for me to do it. Because I've been in that lonely dirt road. And I've been in the ditch for a good while. And even when I, I, I saw the light, even when I felt or came into success, it it was to me, it was just a tease because it, it didn't last. All because of I ended up doing something crazy because I wasn't used to being blessed. Or because of something just randomly just happening. And the truth is, I'm not used to being blessed to where I can sustain it. I'm not used to that. And so what happens is when blessings come my way, I I run I because I'm not used to it. But I want to be able to embrace the blessing sent from God and just be able to just live in those blessings to be able to really to uh, to be able to just really just sit there and enjoy it uh, with the presence of God but I'm here to tell y'all to um just keep God first in all that you do. And when God bless you with something, stay with it. I love you all. And you all take care. Bye.